What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm talking, if you can't guess it, Isle Dogs. Got two little dogs running around the little room today. And this is going to be a ton of fun, guys. I... I love this film. I'm just going to say that straight up. I love Isle of Dogs. Um, this is my top three for sure for this year. I don't know if it's my number one yet. It might be. But I know for sure that I will be saying that this is my... This film will win Best Anime Picture next year. I'll, I know Incredibles 2 is still coming out, but there's the animation in here. That's the one thing I want to talk about first, is the animation. It is fantastic top to bottom. It's so brilliant. I mean it. It is a brilliantly animated film. It's some of the best stop motion I think I've ever seen in a film. It was so seamless that at times, I literally thought it was real. Like, that's how good it was at times. And the dogs look incredible in here. I think that's probably the best part about this whole film. The film is probably the most charming and witty film I've also seen this year. Besides Paddington 2, it's like a close tie. But the thing about this is it's a Wes Anderson film, of course. But this is Wes Anderson. He's good at these type of weirdly odd styled films where he's also just very charming to say the least. He's very dark. He's very different. And that's something that we get inside this film is that he's so charmed. The, the dialogue in here, it, it's witty, it's sweet, and it's weirdly odd because this film is not for kids. Uh, not at all. Um, and I know it's an animated film, I, I sure, it's weird to say that. But it's not for kids. I mean, maybe 13 and up can watch this film, but there are some dark moments in here. And there are some themes that they deal with where they're a little too much to say the least. I know I just said weirdly odd and charmed a lot, but that's really what can make up this whole film to be said. It is just all of that all put together in one. <laughs> And it, in the end, makes for a perfect package in Isle of Dogs. The voice acting is incredible. The direction is incredible. I mean, seriously, I loved I loved seeing Brian Cranston as the main lead dog in here because he was probably my favorite dog overall. But that's if that comes to my one con in this film. And I mean, I've I saw this film two weeks ago, and I've still sat on it just to think, is there any cons to it? The only con I can really think of is I really wish the central dogs that we do get I wish we would have gotten more of their interactions before we meet the boy. I think that would have been something that helped the story a little bit more because this film, I wish there was like 10 more minutes to it. So dark comedy in there. It has everything a movie lover would love and I cannot recommend Isle of Dogs enough. This film is coming towards you guys. I totally recommend it. I know it's going limited for the first few weeks, but seriously, keep an eye out for Isle of Dogs. I cannot recommend this film enough, especially if you're a Wes Anderson film. Fantastic Miss Frog is one of my favorite animated films of all time and Grand Budapest Hotel is just fantastic. But other than that, guys, I'm going to give Isle Dogs an A. Puppies! So, guys, tell me guys what you guys thought of this review, what you guys think of my dogs, and also tell me what is your favorite Wes Anderson film. I can't wait to hear, guys, all your guys' thoughts down below. That's going to be a ton of entertaining time right there. But, guys, also, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because I love when you guys do that. It supports me. It helps me out. Another way to support me is also go check out Sandwich on Films down below. It's where you guys can find some other movie news, other movie reviews, and also maybe win some advanced screens in a theater near you. Of course, if you guys want to talk more movies, make sure to hit all my social media links down below. You got Instagram. Stardust and Twitter. Some of the best stuff on there. I usually go to Twitter. That's probably my main one and Stardust. So make sure to go hit those two up. Of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.